Cure is the best graphics you have ever seen. Maximum graphics in a set of cores, and I believe the car is BMW M5. And I know some of you are gonna complain that every max graphics clip the road is wet. I do think it is because of the reflections, right? The lights and reflections make it seem better than it is. And also I noticed something funny. Games look better during nighttime than daytime. Well, here is a nighttime clip as well, but it's not as flashy. I guess because the road is not wet? Still looks kinda cool, man is even playing on a controller, that's pretty interesting. The game is a set of Forza by the way, just don't look at the Forza Horizon use the interface. Dude, here is the best Live for Speed clip I have ever seen. I guarantee you, you've never seen nothing like that before. This is even more impressive than the match graphics, I'm not gonna lie. Kia is a game you will never be able to play if you have a PC. If you have a PC, go cry in a corner right now. I know I did. Gran Turismo 7. Amazing game, but not for PC. Now, this amazing game you can't play on PC. And this is my most favorite game in terms of graphics and overall visual elements, let's say. Now, unfortunately, the quality of this clip is absolutely dog poop. But it's a nice tandem. And this is also very mesmerizing. Oh, goodness. He literally picked up a lady. Is this how you pick up ladies? Like literally? With your car? Okay, well, the lady's walking off. Lady was like, nope, this ain't working. But anyway, uh, it has to be like an old GTA game. This is definitely modded. Dude, this is someone's setup. Is that your handbrake? Could be a shifter, I guess. Bruh. <laughs> Look at his pedals. Oh, get out of here, dude. That's, that, that's your steering wheel? This man has one internet. Kyo is a very satisfying clip. The game is a set of course. I like the graphics. Most of all, I like the GoPro roof cam. It's nicely placed. I believe he is drifting a Mustang. We don't see the full car. Sounds and looks like a Mustang. Well, speaking of Mustangs, here's two of them. But this time in car wrecks in Red Rock, they're throwing a reverse 360 and they just keep on drifting. Very smooth. Honestly, not a bad stunt. Oh boy, this... Wait, that's not Roblox. This is Rocket League. It looks so bad but so mesmerizing at the same time guys this is actually a pc game and you can also play this game on mobile i believe it's asphalt 9 if you like action and you have a very short attention span then this game is for you you can throw bazillion 360s midair random barrel rolls well if you like mario kart here is a mario kart track except we have a little cute miata over here with a very weebly berry we are inside of a traffic car and the BMW is gonna pass us sideways. BMW. Speaking of BMWs, here's a BMW. What I do want to say about this clip is look at the colors. The colors are so washed out, which make this clip look really legit. It's not too bright, it's perfect. If you ever wondered if you should get VR for a Seto Corsa, right here you can see how you can drift in VR in a Seto. He's even using a direct drive wheel, that is the Moza R5. I even used this wheel. It was so good in a Seto Corsa. Unfortunately, not supported in Forza. Okay, bro, this is perfect. This is another VR game that you can play on a wheel. And the graphics are something else. Here's another first person view drift. And this time we are in Forza Horizon 4. And he is throwing a mad reverse sentry. 9 out of 10. Well, this car is now sad to look at. But that is an all-wheel drive Ford for Focus, I believe, right? And this is a custom map in Forza Horizon 5. Now, some of you might say this is not drifting. This car is all-wheel drive. Let's put our differences aside and let's just enjoy the clip, shall we? Here is either Forza Horizon 3 or 2. I'm gonna go with Forza Horizon 3. The user interface looks like Forza Horizon 3. And he is gonna throw a 360, obviously, as well. I was mistaken. That's a 720. This is very interesting. I've seen this map. It's Drift Playground. Everyone knows this map. But it's like a jungle, bro. Look at all this greenery. On the original Drift Playground map, there is almost no trees. And again, the road is wet. Oh, dude, I remember. I used this same mod on this same track. And now someone sent in this clip where they are drifting the go-karts. This is cool. Listen, if you want to see the full video of me playing on this track with this mod, I will link it in the description. Here is one of the newer Logitech wheels. I'm going to assume G920, which is a very popular starter wheel. And he's drifting in as Seto Corsa. Speaking of wheels, I have no idea what that wheel is. That looks like a cheaper kind of a wheel. But bro, the game he's playing is Burnout Paradise. I believe it is. I played it like a long time ago. Here is Live for Speed. And I'm gonna assume he's gonna drift the truck. Even says sub to goose. Listen, it's scientifically proven. If you subscribe, you'll have big pee, pee I'm just saying. It is up to you. 
Supra. Your favorite car over here sideways in Oiwarf is the map. Pretty cool little cinematic cam going on over here. Kind of digging it. Looks nice. Sounds pretty good as well. The late night drift station. Here is a cinematic movie of a little depressed Miata. It's raining, okay? Everything is depressing. Miata is just alone in the whole city. It's like finding Nemo, but it's finding Miata. He's looking for a companion, but there's nobody. He's alone, but he's still drifting. He has not given up. He's looking everywhere. Nothing. Maybe on this intersection. Nobody here. What about this parking lot? It's empty. The lonely Miata. Now on cinemas. <laughs> You wanna see what happens to rammers? Karma happens. Someone is gonna try to ram him from behind, failed, and took himself out. Here is a wheel cam clip, man is whipping on a Trustmaster T300. BMW 2 door E36. Very clean wheel cam. No one accidentally has this clean of a wheel cam. So 100% you have a YouTube channel. I just don't know what it is. Well, I know this channel. This is Reynolds. And he's flexing with his custom sim racing setup. He basically has half a car in his living room and a real car seat as well. Not gonna lie, kinda jealous. This man has watched way too much Initial D and does like a Takumi shortcut over here and just jumps over the other car as well. But I think it works. Here is an interesting car. I've never seen a Pontiac sideways. It's either BMWs or like JDM cars. It's refreshing to see something else, so I thank you for this unique car choice. Okay, so something is happening in Minecraft. There are cars in Minecraft now and people are drifting. That's literally a Skyline R34. Are you kidding me, bro? What is happening? They exist and they're getting more popular. I'm just warning you, boys. If you ever thought Prius is lame, well, look in the mirror. You're lame. Look at that. Prius sideways like it's nothing. Front wheel drive. Boy. Here is a dude with the Trustmaster setup and red racing gloves and red racing shoes as well. Oh, dude. Okay, now I'm officially jealous, bro. These two guys are having fun IRL. No, guys, this is not a set of cores on Max Graphics. Although the graphics are looking pretty good on this clip. Not gonna lie. Two BMWs just dancing over here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what fun looks like. But it's pretty expensive, right? I'm gonna assume like five minutes of drifting and your rear tires are out. Am I wrong? I feel like if you non-stop drift for five minutes aggressively, then you're out of tires. I mean, it depends on the horsepower as well. The lower the horsepower, the longer the tires are gonna last. It's a pretty expensive hobby is what I'm trying to say. I prefer drifting during winter. There is no tire wear and you can still have fun. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, this looks way better. Well, listen, boys, if you enjoyed today's compilation, uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and as always, stay sideways.